In this video, I am going to show you what it takes to replace the rear differential in this Rarlo 12th scale buggy. And that is because I broke it and I need to fix it. And so I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step way in order to access it and replace the differential. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Troy and this is Roadside RC. You'll tend to find me bashing and crawling and drifting and racing, sometimes doing product review videos and like this one, a how-to. And I recently was at the skate park and I uh, crashed my Rarlo buggy and it looks something like this. And as you can see, the uh, the skate park won and the buggy did not. Which means I am going to be working on how to replace this rear differential and showing you how I do it. There's quite a lot that's going to go into getting this diff case out to replace this diff cup. We're going to start with these two screws up here for the wing mount and these two screws right here for the shock tower mount. And that will get all of this actually off of the diff case. And then we'll be able to start working on maybe these sway bar mount screws and the upper mount screws that we have here. I went ahead and took the wing itself all the way off because that'll make it a lot easier for me to show you the other screws that I need to get to here now. So we're going to start with both of these sway bar mount screws. They go into the top diff case. We're going to have to get those out. The diff case then has one, two, three, four screws that come in on the top here. Uh, we will probably have to take some of this center spine off. And so one, two, three, four screws potentially. And then there might be, based on how I'm looking at it, two more screws for this top diff case underneath here. So we have a fair amount that needs to be taken off. Just as we expected, once we get this center piece loose, there are two more screws underneath here that are still on the front of that diff case in order to get that all the way to separate for us. With all of those screws now loose, we should be able to pick this up and that whole top diff case will slide out of here. Top diff case is out and then the diff itself can actually also slide out. And you can see here that diff cup that was broken. The reverse should all be just the same. We're gonna just slide that new diff cup in. Of course, as we do so, we're gonna have to make sure that we get our dog bones in and that they are in both ends here. Before you get very far with putting everything back together, you're gonna to want to make sure that when you turn the wheels, all the wheels turn the same direction. It is possible to put that diff in upside down, in which case your wheels will be spinning different directions and your car will drive very funny. My buggy is now ready to get back out there and do some more fun runs, speed runs, and bashing. What I'm going to ask you to do is go down in the comments and let me know if you watched this video and if it was useful for you. Uh, I do these sometimes and I never know if people actually really need them or enjoy them. So if you'd go down and uh, let me know if this was helpful for you, I really would appreciate it. So thank you. I hope this was useful and we'll talk to you later. Goodbye.